Meanwhile, the National Weather Service has confirmed multiple tornadoes in two area counties. Let's bring back Chief Meteorologist Matt Schaefer with more. Well, we now have five confirmed tornadoes. Uh, another one confirmed within the last hour. Let's take them one by one. This first tornado began in uh, Minnesota and just barely crossed into Wisconsin, north of Fountain City. This was an EF1 tornado with a max wind of 105 miles an hour. It went through Merrick State Park and ended by Highway 35 uh, between Fountain City and Checkville, uh, town of Milton. We then had another tornado on the ground, very similar time frame near Cochrane. Uh, County Road 00 crossed 35 towards Rose Valley Road and Belvedere Ridge. This also an EF1 tornado. Uh, a couple of barns and outbuildings destroyed, uh, tree damage including at the golf course. Then we have uh, one east of Arcadia by about five miles. This one was a very short tornado near Burlington Road, but it packed quite a punch. A brief tornado near Burlington Road destroyed a garage and then some of those two by fours from that garage were impaled into the house. The garage door also thrown, uh, thrown around the house and landed on the other side of the house. So it smashed into it too. So brief but strong tornado east of Arcadia. And then in Eau Claire County within the last hour, tornado confirmed near Augusta. I don't know exactly if it was before or after Augusta. What I do know is it is at least seven miles long in path length and they'll be working on that. Uh, the wind speeds also are so questioned. I didn't uh, adjust that, but none of the details are confirmed on that one. And the fifth was near Unity. That is on the border of Clark and Marathon counties also an EF1 tornado. So lots of damage, at least five tornadoes now confirmed in western Wisconsin.